Hi everyone, my name is Ola Kunle. How are you doing? You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while. Um, I've been busy with some things, but now I'm back. Um, Tino Wu was asked a question about climate change. Probably you have seen the video, I don't know, but if you haven't seen the video, please watch the video. Watch now and listen to what he said when he was asked about how he's going to um, contribute or how he's going to help the climate change in Nigeria. Listen. Uh, we need to open our eyes, change climate, and tell the West. If you don't guarantee our finances and work up with us to stop this, we are not going to comply with your climate change. You are doing it. I don't really understand what is going on here. <laughs> Now, if someone who wants to become the president does not even understand what climate change is, that he doesn't understand that climate change is um, a global thing, it's a global issue. He thinks America is the only place that glo I mean that um, climate change affects, and he thinks that America within our help to deal with climate change that affects their country. Now imagine that, the climate change that affects the environment, so they will need our help. So he's talking as if he's holding America ransom. It's crazy, you know. Uh, and sometimes I ask, why do people feel that this man is fit for this job? Forget sickness. We're talking about exposure here. We're talking about understanding. You see, these people are only in these positions to to earn money. They don't have, they don't study. They don't know what is affecting the whole world. That is why Nigeria is not growing. That is why Nigeria is not developing. That is why you are where you are today. And that is why I am where I am today. That is where this country is where it is today. These people don't have understanding of what is going on in the world. They're only there to make money, to gather wealth for themselves, to steal the public funds for themselves. That's what happened sometimes ago um, when we're talking about a senator sometimes ago we're talking about storing some documents in the cloud. And the senator in the house was asking, um, won't rain affect the document that we store in the cloud? Imagine. So a whole senator of a country representing his constituency thinks that storing documents in the cloud means storing in this physical cloud. It's crazy. These are the people we elect, and these are the people you, educated person, elect. We need to change this status quo. We need to we need to get to understand that okay, we need to move forward and be like the rest of the world and better than some countries in the world. If a man does not understand climate change, how will he understand the impact of technology in the development of the nation? How will he understand the impact of international connection in the development of a nation? We need to grow up. We need to take religion out. We need to take tribalism or ethnicity out. This is not a time to play ethnicity game. This is not to play. This is not a time to play tribalism game. This is a time to play intellectual game. This is a time to be concerned about the development of this country. Some of us don't have a place to go. We only have this country. Many people are running out of the country now. They are running out because they have money. If you don't have money, where would you go, bro? Sis, can you just wake up? Let's vote Peter Obi. This is the only candidate of all the candidates that we can still trust. He's exposed, he has integrity, he's still young, he knows a lot of things. Please, let's think again and again and again. God bless Nigerian. Please, if you haven't vote, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right now. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you if you have subscribed, and thank you if you want to subscribe. You can subscribe now. Just click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's all. That's all. Thank you, guys. I love you.